Hey Jackals, in this video we'll take a look how to easily pop out a point of interest in a video by using DaVinci Resolve. Now let's get digital. I'll show you how this can be done in the Fusion page. So let's put the video on the timeline. I'll just use this one and go into the Fusion page. Now what you can do is use masks and simply connect it to the media out. Position the mask where you want this mask to be. You can also adjust the soft edge. And what's cool about using the Fusion page is that you can easily use an ellipse. You can also use a polygon to make a custom shape. And you can also stack these shapes. So with the polygon, I'll simply move it. I can stack it and I can also use the ellipse to stack the ellipse. Now with each node, you can adjust the width, the height, and the center position, and also animate them. So this can move around if you need it. So now that you have the mask, as you can see, this is transparent. And if you go into the edit page, this will be black. We can achieve the same thing if we take the background and connect it to the media out and with the merge node selected, press Ctrl T to switch between these two inputs. And now if I lower the alpha in the background, we'll have the same result as before. But what if we want to just dim this part and have it be the same video beneath it? So I'll simply copy this media in and simply connect it like so and then this will go into the merge. So now in this case we have the background be in the front because we want to overlay this original clip and make it dark. So we just adjust the alpha to what we want it to be. Maybe 0 0.4 is what I usually use and then this will go into the merge node and now this cutout or the shapes that we use have to be in the front, so in the green input. And you can do the same in the edit page, just like with this example. So let me take this clip again. Now what we'll want to do is copy this clip, hold Alt and simply drag it up. The bottom clip will have to go to the inspector tab. Now I'll simply lower the alpha or the opacity to 40. So this is basically the overlay that we've done with the background node in the Fusion page. And the top clip will mask it out. The easiest way to do this is in the Spectre tab, you have the cropping tools, so you can crop it any way that you want, and you can also soften this up. So that is how you can easily make a rectangle shape, and you can also animate each individual part. So let me just animate this. So you can animate it like this. I'll simply delete the keyframes. And if you want to make an ellipse, like I've shown you in this example, you'll have to go to the effects, type in transform and apply this to the top clip. Now the effects tab is clickable. And inside here, you have the sliders. You can also use canvas or pins. In this case, we'll use the sliders and we have the image adjustment. So we'll select this crop. Now we can crop it how we want. And as you can see, this crop behaves the same as the one in the video, but we also have the option to round the edges. So this is how you can make an ellipse. Also soften it up by a tiny bit. And then when you apply a crop, this is actually how you move the ellipse to make an animation. Now, if you want to play around with the keyframes to adjust the animation, you won't see anything by clicking this button. So you'll want to click on the drop down menu. And because this is under the transform, you'll find all of these options under the transform and simply enable the ones that you've adjusted. So you can then select on each individual line to see where the keyframes are. Now in this case, I didn't adjust anything, 
But when you click on it, you can simply click on a point and drag it to where you want it to be. If you hold shift, then click, and depending on which direction you first move it, this will either lock you horizontally or vertically. And that's it. Did you find the video helpful? If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification icon so you know when my next video comes out. I'm Simon, and until next time, Jackals, keep it digital. Thank <laughs> you.